how are we literally already starting this vlog i don't know but hey guys it's rachel welcome back to my channel and welcome to the speak now taylor's version release day vlog um it is thursday july 6 2023 and i am just starting to vlog because i'm starting to prep um merch dropped earlier i <laughs> I tried to restrain myself as much as possible, but it was really, really difficult. Um, I got a bracelet that has like all the little charms on it. I got the haunted bell that she used as a prop in the Speak Now World Tour. It's a little necklace. And I just love it because number one, the, the bracelet looks like the Wonderstruck bracelet, the charm bracelet that used to come with buying Wonderstruck. And then the the necklace just gave me nostalgia because Taylor would always wear like the really long necklaces during the Speak Now era. So that like accompanied with like a tour prop like was just like everything. So I did buy those two and then I did buy the baby tee because I'm obsessed with my Too Soft For All Of It one so I decided to get that one. In conclusion, um, I am making sure that I am saving up every single thing that I can um, because I know that there's going to be more merch drops. Like, I'm just, I'm bracing for impact pretty much. So, I'm sitting in front of Plato's Closet. I'm going to go treat myself to my favorite ice cream because it's celebration time. Like, speak now. Taylor's version is coming home. I'm, guys, there's something about speak now that is so nostalgic and so special to me because that was the first era that I like fully like immerse myself into being a Swifty like I fell in love with Taylor um the moment I heard love story but like speak now I remember when the mind music video came out like getting wonderstruck seeing Taylor for the first time like it was just it's my childhood and the fact that speak now is coming home is incredibly special and so yeah I'm gonna go get some ice cream to celebrate. Um, this vlog is gonna be filled with lots of Speak Now Taylor's versions, so buckle up. We're gonna listen to the album for the first time, go get it, everything. I got two scoops because we're celebrating, you know? We, I couldn't decide. I was like, you know what? Speak Now's coming home, we're getting two scoops. <laughs> I wanted to sit here and like tell you guys what I think my favorite vault songs are gonna be like which ones i'm most like drawn to by the title um i personally think foolish one is going to be one of my all-time favorite taylor swift songs i don't know why literally know nothing about it just just merely based off the name and also i think i'm going to love timeless and i think mm -hmm. when emma falls in love it's going to be a very special one as well but i think my two stands are going to be foolish one and timeless no facts just merely just merely thoughts based on the title but yeah i'm very excited for electric touch too because i fixated and i still do on the fallout boy and taylor performance from the victoria's secret fashion show like when they did my songs know what you did in the dark like they sounded incredible together and i have wanted i've wanted them to do a collab since that very moment that i replayed it and replayed it so like this is for her also getting the Haley williams collab on castles crumbling tonight and i'm stoked i if I had to choose which one I'm more excited for, it's definitely like the Fall Out Boy one. I don't know why, like, I'm just, I think it's like that performance I just keep thinking about, like, I'm so, so, so obsessed, but Haley has a beautiful voice, and so obviously, so does Taylor, but like, I am so excited to hear them like sing, sing together. Um, They came out as a guest on the Speak Now World Tour, but, you know, I'm just, I'm so excited to hear, like, a collab collab. I'm stoked. Superman's coming home tonight. Underrated bop. I just fear the moment I hear, drop everything now. Rachel is going to drop everything and go run and get the Kleenex because... Speak now is just, that's, that's my girl.
I've been sobbing my entire way home. Like, I just listened to Long Live and just like thinking about like our memories with Taylor and like, you know, everything. Like I listened to that song and I remember like those moments where um, I was standing on the sidelines wishing for right now, meaning I wish I had met Taylor and I got that. Um, I'm just, I'm full of emotions and then Never Grow Up came on and I remember that song has always made me cry, but I remember that was like the first song. So the day I got my license, um, I didn't have my own car yet, but my mom let me take her car for the day. Like I went and dropped her off at work and she let me take the car and like go to the mall and stuff. Um, and I remember that song coming so vividly on shuffle. And I remember, I was like, oh my god, like, this is my first, like, you know, step into, like, adulthood. And I remember, like, because I also, like, took the car to, like, go fill out job applications and stuff, too. And, like, it's just absolutely crazy to me that, like, through everything, Taylor's been there. And this, this release is just making me very emotional. So, um, it's just that she's just always been there and this album has always been like my my mantra in life like my my motto like if you know how you feel and you so clearly know what you need to say I don't think you should wait I think you should speak now like this album taught me to speak up for myself to say what I believe to be strong to not let people push me around and this album really sent out a message to me as a little girl growing up but now even as an adult I'm so proud of this girl I'm gonna go drink my moo latte <laughs> and uh, probably I think I'm gonna paint my nails and then I think I'm gonna make some bracelets I'm I'm a mess right now look who it is look who I'm facetiming while I edit my thumbnail who else would it be? Literally, no. <laughs> Literally. Um, and I also have my nail polish ready to go. Alright, update. It's 11-11. Speak Now is coming home. And, um, it's so soon. Anyways, I painted my nails purple because I would feel very wrong if they weren't purple. I'm getting my little setup. Um, I cannot believe we're here so fast. Um... That evening flew by. These past two months have flown by. Got my water because I feel like I'm going to be shedding some tears. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm itching to listen to the vault tracks, but for nostalgia purposes, I want to listen to Sparks Fly first, and I want to hear, drop everything now. Like, I, I got to. Okay. Like, just for nostalgia. So I think I'm going to listen to Sparks Fly. And then I think I'm going to go to the vault. And then I think I'm going to come back to the rest of the album. Just because like. I don't know. That's my game plan right now. I have my Speak Now Taylor's version blanket. I have my crew neck. It's out on Apple Music. It's, it's, <clears throat> it, it's out on Apple Music. Alright. Who's ready? I'm I'm going to do mine, Sparks Fly, and then the vault. Okay, here we go. She's loading. My heart. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. I can't do it, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm going to the vault. I'm going to the vault. Um, why isn't the last kiss showing up? Like, it's literally that's so weird. Oh, no, 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 no. okay, okay. 
This is Electric Touch. I like her. I had no doubt. Okay, just an hour till your car's in the driveway. Okay, so now we're on When Emma Falls in Love, Electric Touch, Slay. Oh, why is this gonna make me cry? Closes the blinds and locks the door. <gasps> this is giving me drops of Jupiter. Excuse me? Okay, that uh 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 oh is like um it's giving me it's giving me mine but it's giving me badass mine, you know? It, oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. I got a one minute. I have goosebumps the way she's singing those like last like words of the verse or how she like speak it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um This was in the vault. Taylor, what else are you hiding? It's scary. Okay, ma'am. Okay, castle's crumbling. Here we go. Oh, this is giving me like. Oh, this is giving me fairy tale princess. She sounds so mature, but so speak now, Taylor. And that's just throwing me into the deepest emotional state. Okay, I'm obsessed. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. You ever hear a song and you think that's one of the best songs I've ever heard? I'm obsessed. I can't describe how much I love this song. You guys, listen. Listen to me. Timeless is like one of the most beautiful, like, amazing songs I've ever heard like that is such like a beautiful I love songs I I've always been like and if this was a movie stand because I could visually see it and this was one that I could immediately see like Taylor with her like Taylor with her curly hair like in her braid like walking into an antique shop picking up these pictures like and just like I don't know, like, I saw the whole song inside my head, and it painted such, like, a beautiful, beautiful concept that I've never really heard in a song put like that before. Like, we can meet on the street corner, but we could also meet, you know, if I was in the 1940s, like, we still would have ended up together. Oh my god, like, I can't describe to you the feeling that absolutely just hit me when I heard that song. Like, that is the most beautiful song, I need to get married tomorrow. That song, just kidding, I don't need no man to make me happy one day. I will find the right one. But what I'm saying is, that was the most beautiful song I think I've maybe ever heard. Like, she, she ricocheted onto my, onto my stand song list. I love all of Taylor's music in a very specific way, but I'm not kidding you. Like, you know, we all have like our stand songs. Timeless just absolutely ricocheted to the top of my list. Like, I'm floored. I'm floored. Okay, now I'm going to resume with Speak Now, Taylor's version, just regular I need to pick up on back to December um I'm not kidding you I feel absolutely floored like I can't stop thinking about that song like I I'm not even kidding you I'm fixated on it and I will be for a while all right let's go let's go to back to December Oh my god. All I can 
Look, 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 can I just pause? I'm, I'm over here sobbing to Enchanted, like, holding my phone like this. Like, this is all I ever wanted, okay? I'm gonna start crying again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just so grateful, like... If you had told 2010 Rachel, like, that she was gonna hug Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift was gonna know who she was, like and asked to meet her, like, um, I wouldn't have believed it. And so I'm just sitting here sobbing my eyes out. Um, it's fine. Um, but then Better Than Revenge comes on and I'm like, oh, I'm up. I'm up. Like, I, I, I'm just like, it's like during the Eras tour, um, after, you know, Tolerate It ends and it immediately goes to Ready For It. Like, it's like, oh, let me, let me wipe off these tears real quick. Oh my God. Okay. Anyways, back to bobbing. Everyone, this is my new bracelet. Um, I'm trying not to mess with it too much because I put a little bit of, um, if you guys don't know, a good thing to seal your bracelets with is, um, a nail polish top coat. So I put a little bit on there, so I'm trying not to move it, but these usually sit like this. But I made a timeless bracelet. I tried to make it kind of like antique looking. I'm obsessed with timeless, as you guys saw. Yeah. Speak Now Taylor's version is immaculate. Like, it's two o'clock in the morning and I have to be up at 6 30 but um you know what totally worth it I cannot wait to get my hands on that physical album tomorrow and the vinyl and I'm just I'm stoked you guys because this album like I don't get me wrong all all of Taylor's albums mean the world to me. Like, you guys know this. Like, I could go in my little rant. Every single one of them mean the world to me, but, like, there is just something about this re-recording that's, like, the vault. I can't stop thinking about the vault. Like, timeless. Like, I was listening to Back to December, and I'm like, that's terrific. Timeless. Timeless is the song that exists. The, I just, and then I started, like, investigating the lyrics because I'm obsessed. Um... And so, there's this lyric that says, where is it? Oh, I think I just scrolled past it. Time breaks down your mind and your body, don't let it touch your soul. Like, it, damn, I'm floored by this album. Um, I will talk to you guys in the morning when I look a little more alive. And I speak now Taylor's version of I myself. I, I'm so excited to celebrate this album tomorrow. Or today, excuse me. <laughs> sleep deprived, Rachel's, Rachel's going to sleep. Simply good morning to speak now Taylor's version. I just listened to it and, again and the vault songs and I'm floored. I have a much needed coffee. I have my dress on. I'll show you guys more later. I have my Wonderstruck bag. Um, I also have my first ever Taylor CD that I ever bought on release day. And I can't wait to make her Taylor's version later. It's time. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah. We're going, I am. going to buy a speak now. So excited. Taylor's version. My mom was the first person to ever take me to Target on release day to get Speak Now. That's Thir right. 13 years ago. Wow. Wow. Speak Now was the first album that I bought on actual release day. So this is very nostalgic. Look at us go. I know. <laughs> uh, she looks so pretty. She looks gorgeous. <laughs> we found her. We found her. My mom spotted it before I did. Oh my god. 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 I wonder if any, ooh. She's beauty, she's grace. 
Look at my mother. Not my mother, literally organizing. <laughs> I'm so weak. <laughs> We're back in the car. It's so hot. Uh, I fully recommend looking on your targets and seeing which one actually has them in stock because we had to drive a little bit of a ways to go get it. Um, oh, also, I wanted to give this to you. This is a present from Stephanie. No. Ah. Uh, yeah. What the heck? <gasps> Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh! Look, y'all, I mean, I don't want to take anything away from old <laughs> Swiffer over there, but look, this is Josh Groban. And uh, Stephanie was uh, sweet thanks, enough to get that. Thanks, Stephanie, if you're watching. Oh, I'm sure she is. <laughs> she... Oh, I love that. Isn't it cute? Yeah. I thought it was really cute. I didn't even know they sold merchandise for that. He looks like a devil. Isn't that sweet? That is beyond sweet. Taylor Swift, you're responsible for giving me the fattest paper cut. Oh my god. What? I literally just got a paper cut trying to open this vinyl. Oh, on plastic? No, I like I oh, went like that oh. and it slipped. Look at that. Oh no. She said yay. She's glad you got it. Oh, that was so sweet. I love sweetie pot. I want that. Not me unboxing the vinyl. Here in the parking lot. I'm so. Tell me what I'm I'm gonna see it. I know, right? Yeah. I love purple, so. And sorry if, like, you can hear the AC. It's so hot, I can't not have the AC on. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah. Slay. Okay, novel. The prologue made me cry. Don't tell anyone. Um, here's the back. Here's the gorgeous front. The back's so pretty too. She yeah, it is. The whole though. thing is very, very pretty. Yep. Mm. Oh, there's four discs. Mm -hmm. That's that's why it was expensive. That's so oh wow! <gasps> oh my god, this is so pretty. <gasps> oh, how beautiful! That is. Oh, that's so. Pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, yes. it sure is. Oh my god. That is real They're all pretty. the same color. Ooh. I think they have to... <gasps> oh. Look how pretty. That's so pretty. Oh my. That's literally gorgeous. I think you'd like to find her laying out in your lawn. <laughs> or on your lawn, I would say. <laughs> I mean... She posted... Listen. I haven't mentioned this in the vlog. She posted July 4th pictures like she used to do back in the day, and I was like, nature's healing. Oh, not it breaking. <gasps> Hello? <laughs> like, look. Ah, it came unhinged. <laughs> oh, no. <Well>. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Uh, well. So are you gonna take it back? No, I'll just snap it back, it's okay. <laughs> She's she like said, forget you. She's so cute. I gotta be careful with her now. Well, damn. I know that is a look at it. I know it just it like literally just you like sure you don't want to take it back. I don't want to because like this is the one I picked up, but like damn. It's it, not like you're not gonna get more though. You know that. Well, I know, but like, but that's up to you. If you want to walk it back in, go for it. I'll go read the car. What do you think? I mean, you paid good money for it. She just decided to break. Um, I mean, most of them are like hard to even get open. That one just went, no. I mean, she's fine. She's fine. I mean, that, that's totally up to you. And I know how you are. You don't want to return Taylor to the store and be like, she would be on the island and misfit CDs. That's and, literally my problem. I, 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 for, I know. I would feel that way too. Thank you for knowing. Yeah, I would feel that way too. <laughs> it's like, because look, this is the Speak Now copy that we literally bought like 13 <gasps> years ago. Oh, funny. So like, look, she's, she's a little messed up. But like, you know. Oh wow, look at that. I know. Though. Oh, that's cool. 
you know. So. <laughs> yeah, no. And here we go for round two. We're going to get the orchid variant of the vinyl. Hi, baby. All right, update. I came out with uh, the violet instead of the orchid, and here's why. Um, I love my local record store so much because they're just so like, they're so straight about it all. So they had the orchid and they had the violet, but he said that the violet they couldn't like re-get. So if I wanted to get it, to go ahead and get the violet and that they would have the orchid if I ever want to come back and get it, and the violet's even darker, so it'll be more of a difference than my uh, than the one that I just got from Target, which is the lilac. So there's the lilac, <laughs> there's the I need sleep um, orchid, and then there's the violet. So I have the the violet and the lilac so far, but yeah, um, I'm very excited to open this. I'm gonna do that when I get home because it looks like it's about to storm and I'm not trying to be out in the storm, so I'm gonna try and hurry up. I am exhausted at this point. Um, I have not taken a nap. I It's 9.05, so I have been up for, <sighs> how many hours? 15, 15 hours with four hours of sleep. Um, I'm quite exhausted. So I've been laying in bed is my point since I got home, but I am not too tired for this. I went on YouTube a couple days ago and apparently there's a video that you guys have made for me and the username is, let's see, well, we're just going to click on it because I have not watched it yet and it's called For Rachel Meyer. To show how amazing she is. They included dancing with her hands tied. Do you guys understand what's going to happen to me? Swifty's version is the one who put it out. Um, but when you guys say, like, you make my day better. Like, I, uh, I, that is how Taylor has always been for me. So the fact that somebody is saying that about me is, like, the best feeling I could maybe ever imagine um so I really want to say thank you oh god oh god Taylor Taylor has the koi fish guitar it's it's an emergency oh no I want to know what you guys have to say so bad what I don't want to know guys I may have to pause the board for me That is long live. Oh, you're fucking kidding me! Guys, not the band with her. I can't do it. Are you kidding me? Fucking cute. So I wrote up the concept, I wrote up the treatment, I knew exactly how I want to shoot it, how I want to direct it, and I had a very, very specific cast in mind for this music video. Taylor Lautner's there, world stop. And it was really just all about how do we get these people who are doing movies all the time 
to be in this and to have the time to do it. And um, and so eventually, schedules lined up. We shot a music video in Liverpool. And oh shit! And I, I've always wanted, ever since I started re-recording my albums, I always wanted to tell a story visually that symbolically portrayed the ways that you guys have helped me get my music back. Aww. I, I want to play you a music video from here tonight. Nobody has seen it. Wait, what song is it? video premiere of a music video where I can see you Ooh! Joey! If I see Taylor Lautner pop up on the screen, I'm gonna need some help. Dress to speak now, world tour Taylor is Literally in the vault. <laughs> um. So, uh, as I as I was saying to you earlier, this is the official Speak Now album release. Oh, also, the world premiere of the I Can See You music video. I was lucky enough to get people to be in this music video who are actually in movies. I figured, wouldn't it be fun if we treated this kind of a little bit like a movie premiere? And a movie premiere, like... If she hugs Taylor Lautner, I... Oh my fucking... My God. The first person I want to introduce you to is someone who starred in the mean music video when she was nine years old. And now, she's a huge movie star and like co-stars with Brad Pitt and stuff. She is a huge, massive deal and the nicest, coolest, most wonderful human being in the world. And, um... Well, she's here tonight, uh, Joey King. Give it up! Um, I don't know how to deal. Oh my God, she's gonna hug Taylor Lautner too. I can't do this. I'm gonna did lose. You, did you? How did you like Joey's performance in the music video? Oh my god, she's so cute. I remember watching the mean music video on the top 20 countdown. Oh my god, Taylor, I'm sweating so much. Oh. Help me. What the hell is this? She's so cute. Slay, slay, slay. I knew I recognized her. I love you, Mom! <laughs> so, um, there's, there's someone else that's here. <laughs> Nobody's ready for this. Nobody. He wasn't in any of my music videos, but um, he was a very positive uh, force 
in my life when I was making the Speak Now album. Oh! She just did not say Tay Tay. Leave me alone. Nobody knows what this is doing to my Speak Now heart. Oh my God. It's never grow up. That was so beautiful. Taylor, please don't sit down and play Timeless. So if, if you know it this one, then I'm super impressed. Because it just came out as one of the vault tracks. Oh no. And, um, I wrote about one of my best friends. Oh no! <laughs> it's when Emma falls in love. Oh my god. Emma's gonna have a kiss. It's now one o'clock in the morning, precisely. And, um, I'm still awake. Um, can't say I'm, like, wide awake, but I'm awake. Um the I Can See You music video is about to premiere on YouTube. Um, but the thing about it is, like, yes, I saw it through a live stream. However, the thing about it is, you know, 
I it was a grainy live stream like yeah I saw it for the most part but you know I most certainly missed stuff and so I want to see it in HD and I literally can't believe like no sleep you know that audio that's like bus club another club another club plane next place no sleep that's this it's still not as bad as like when Red Taylor's version came out. That that was like boom, 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 boom. Okay, can I just say it's a huge day for the Speak Now girlies. Like Joey King, Taylor Lautner, and Presley. Like this, this is everything. Okay, this is immaculate. This is the cast. Anyways, um, either I'm very, very tired and sleep deprived. Or that says 1989 TV. Um, I will chat with you guys in the morning. I actually need to go to sleep. Hello, you guys. So it is the next day, and I look. When I told you guys I was gonna have this glued to my body, I mean it. Uh, I went out today with my mom for a little bit and came home immediately. Put this back on. Um, so there's that. Hi, I'm obsessed with Speak Now Taylor's version. I literally paused it just to talk to you guys and wrap up this video, so you're welcome for all the love. <laughs> guys, I I just need to sit and talk to you guys about this for just a minute. Um, I literally dropped everything now. I was doing laundry. I said, you know what, let me just sit down. I need to talk. <laughs> um, so, Miss Speak Now Taylor's version. This re-recording has felt so special not that red taylor's version didn't not that fearless taylor's version didn't but in its own way like this is so nostalgic as a fan maybe it's because it was the first era that i truly like from the start of the era i was there however everything about this re-record just seems so like nostalgic and so surreal from the merch Ugh from Taylor whipping out the koi fish guitar last night to sing Long Live, from the I Can See You music video. That is a whole conversation in itself. The, the way that she casts that music video, Presley Cash, Joey King, and Taylor Lautner. If those weren't the main characters of the Speak Now era, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Um, add Liz Hewitt and Caitlin Evanson back in that mix and we've got the, the characters, okay? Because her bringing back Joey King is so nostalgic because Joey King was in the Mean Music video and I can vividly remember listening to and sitting down on the couch every weekend to watch that music video on the Hot Top 20 countdown on CMT, okay? I remember that so clearly. And the fact that Taylor Lautner, Taylor Lautner is in a Taylor Swift music video for the Speak Now era and that they're, they're besties, they're posting. Taylor's wife met Taylor Swift, <laughs> in parentheses Swift, um, Taylor, Taylor Lautner's wife, Taylor, met Taylor back in the Speak Now era, which is so insane. And they're both like just, they're all besties and it makes me so happy and like, the fact that like we know that now is just like, I, I can't even tell you what would happen to me if I had been in that audience last night. Like it's probably a good thing because my vocal cords would be no longer. Um, but seriously, that, that whole cast was so full circle and I love 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 it's the little details for me and I ate it up okay <sighs> there were so many Easter eggs in that music video too like there were it it looked like the getaway car um, I did I think see 1989 TV and I've seen other people say that too like on the sign at the very end that I showed you guys last night like I don't know but seeing Taylor dressed as speak now Taylor like all these years later with like the arm lyrics, the 13, the curls, like it did something to my heart, okay? And I love that she said that that music video is depicting what 
we feel like we would do for like the re-records and how it's felt you know she's trapped in the vault and we're trying to bust her out of it and it's teamwork to bust her out of it um it's it's really special the ones that get it get it and like i feel like taylor truly aimed that for us you know what i mean so then we have the uh, let me just say overall her mature voice her like you can just like her vocals now with this album is insane the vault is insane like m i pretty sure i think it's my va my favorite vault like um and not that like i don't love the fearless or the red vault but like something about this vault is just like oh my god like i can't even begin to tell you how i feel about timeless that song is one of her most well-written beautiful storytelling songs i have ever heard in the history of taylor swift and in the history of songwriting i'm in love with it i love how it showcases taylor's like old soul like how she appreciates the antiques and she finds nostalgia in you know the small things and i love that and i think it just highlights her as a person so well but make it storytelling I'm obsessed as you guys saw I will not be shutting up about that song it's quickly become like one of my stand songs I can see you like I, I can't even tell you uh, 2010 Rachel's floored that uh, like I, I'm speechless I the first thing I did when I jumped out of bed this morning was I turned on my Bluetooth and I started jumping around my room as if it was 2010 and I was making my homemade little videos again like there were no cameras on me however but I was just jumping around having the time of my life listening to that spinning around in circles jumping up and down best time of my life I'm just there's so many like little things that I fixate over when it comes to Taylor's songs like in Electric Touch when she's like mmm like that whoo it just sounds like I can I'm very visual I can see in my head like a warm summer breeze the windows are open in the car you have your sunglasses on and it's in a movie and like you the the wind is blowing in your hair and you're just like you just hear that soundtrack in the back like mm -hmm. and when Emma falls in love is just so dainty it's so fairy tale and it's so guys like i am obsessed and castles crumbling let's protect taylor swift at all costs uh i just i am obsessed and foolish when she didn't need to call me out like that 2019 me is quaking uh electric touch with fallout boy like i can't i'm having a hard time wrapping my head around it but what i can tell you is i am absolutely in love with speak now taylor's version this is a fan has been so 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 surreal and meaningful and special she made that show last night in kansas city so much fun and i am so happy for everybody who went um and it was fun <gasps> i lost another gem okay so i have not taken this bejeweled bracelet off like not even to like shower <laughs> she's been on my body since april it was april yeah and she's starting to lose some gems okay like i've lost one of the midnight gems one of the red taylor's version gems oh my god one of the fearless gems now i'm checking them all um she might have to get replaced soon or get taken off but when i tell you i love this bracelet anyways um yeah it's just incredibly special to me as a fan it's so full circle and getting the album yesterday with my mom was incredibly special because she was the first one to ever take me to target on release day speak now was the first album that i got on release day with my mom um she was the one who took me and yeah i just feel so fulfilled with this release and i love you guys and trust me i will not be shutting up about this I hope you guys are ready <laughs> but I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching I can already tell you this is gonna be long but thanks for enjoying with me tell me what your favorite song is um yeah 
I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way, and I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye, guys.